Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to overclock your Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini up to 1.9 GHz. Now this is has been this is possible thanks to Prox user from XZ Developers Forums who has modified this kernel which is based off Arcos CM 10.2 kernel. So I believe this is only compatible with custom ROMs, with AOSP based ROMs such as Cyanogen Mod, Slim Bean, Carbon and so on. So be sure to have such ROM. Currently I am running Cyanogen Mod 10.2. So this is what we're going to test this on. And uh, you only need to download a zip file into your SD card and you then need to flash it with recovery mode. So let's begin. So once you have downloaded the zip file into your SD card, power off your Galaxy S4 Mini. Now hold the home button, the power and the volume up at the same time. You should probably be familiar with this combination as it puts you into recovery mode. And there we go now, we're in Coco mode recovery. Now basically, from here what you need to do is you need to head into install zip which is the second option then head into choose zip from external SD card now locate the zip file it should be called Serano X version 1 OC this one is the overclock there is actually a non overclocked variant which has custom governors added and so on this one also has them but this one uh, allows you to overclock your device Anyways, let's flash the kernel, select it, then choose yes to confirm. This should take just a few seconds. And it is done as you can see, but we are not done. Now head back and you need to wipe cache. Do not wipe data, just wipe cache. We are going to wipe cache and we are also going to wipe the Dalvik cache. So first wipe the cache, then head into advanced and select the second option wipe Dalvik cache. Then select yes to confirm. There we go, Dalvik cache wiped. Head back into the main menu and choose the first option reboot system now. So once the phone starts up you may see this, so just be patient, do not panic. This is basically like when you uh, upgrade a firmware just need to be patient and wait for it to optimize the apps since we have just wiped the Davic cache. And there we go, as you can see the phone has started up. Now we just need to use an app such as no through CPU control to test and see if we can use a much higher frequency. And there you have it guys, now as you can see the maximum clock frequency is 1.9 GHz. So uh, Proxy user has not only added 1.9 but he also has 1.8. Uh, 1.836, 1.7, this is the default max which you get, but yeah, I also have three more choices, uh, two more choices, sorry, instead of just 1.9 GHz as you can see, and as I mentioned earlier on top of that, you also have some governors here and IO schedulers. So yeah guys, as I already mentioned on the warning screen at the beginning of this video, overclocking could be quite dangerous for your phone and for your battery. Use this with caution and remember nobody is liable for any damages caused to this. Use this at your own risk. Thank you for watching once again everyone. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.